What's up everybody, it's Jason from Liat. Uh, welcome to Interbike 2014, hanging out at the Liat booth uh, with the Mountain Bike Action guys. And there's, we've, we've got a ton of new products, but uh, one of the main things that I want to touch on today is our new helmet, um, our new bike specific helmet uh, that we're, that we're kind of debuting here at Interbike today. Um, give you guys a quick little rundown on it. There's a lot of cool features uh, from the inside all the way to the outside. So you guys, uh, one thing I really want to touch on, one of the key features of our helmet is a product called Armor Gel. And if you guys are familiar with 3DF, uh, D3O, Poron, Sastec, the foam, um, it's, it's a scientific term for non-Newtonian um, products. And what you have here is a gel version of that in its raw form and we call it armor gel and we take this armor gel and what we've made is these 360 turbines we call them 360 turbines because you'll see in a minute we line the helmet strategically uh, on the EPS with these turbines and they're designed to move 360 degrees either way they're centered at the at the middle um, but they also uh, reduce the impact and they disperse the energy quite a lot better. So the 360 turbines that I was talking about, you guys can see the liner is not in this helmet, but you can see how the turbines are strategically located inside the helmet itself. Um, it's attached to the inner liner and as you can see, if you guys can see this here, you can see as I press down on it, this thing's designed to work in all different ways, hence the name 360 Turbine. Um, and with this, um, really helps with anti, the anti-rotation um, of the head and the helmet, and also uh, the dissipation of energy. Similar to MIPS, but different in the fact that we also dissipate energy um, using the 360 degree turbine. Going along the features of the EPS um, one thing I do want to tell all you guys is that this EPS liner is actually injection molded into the helmet, uh, the shell of the helmet itself. It's not something that's done separately and then pushed into the helmet. The big part about that and the big safety feature is that if you look on most helmets, you've got you know quite a significant display of lines and, and gaps in here. If it's injection molded, that means EPS gets filled into all these little spaces, hence thus uh, reducing uh, the head trauma that uh, could be caused if some of this stuff isn't filled with that and it's more or less filled with air at that point. So another big element um, in the safety of this helmet is the EPS liner and I talked briefly about that uh, regarding the turbines but what you see here is what we call V-foam technology and you can see this is kind of what it looks like in its raw state um, and then there's another piece that that comes over the top and from the side of this helmet you can actually see it's a dual density cone cones that go together and you can see a lower density here and a higher density foam here and you can see how they go together in the cone shape what that helps with is the high energy impact uh, that you would have in a helmet and you can see how it how it crushes here but it really helps to dissipate energy and again it helps uh, with the anti-rotation um, of the head as well so the two big safety features that I just talked about regarding the EPS liner and the 360 turbines uh, really helps with the overall uh, diameter of this helmet. Um, I can tell you right now, this helmet that you're looking at here is a double X. Um, and if you were holding it, you'd realize it's quite small. Um, if you compare it to some of the other helmets out in the market, because of the technology uh, in this helmet, we're able to make the overall size and the shell of this helmet quite a bit smaller, up to 24% smaller than, than some of the other bigger helmets on the market. So if you do the math on that, uh, the rotational force when you're hitting the ground, um, kind of like a bobblehead, uh, would be quite significantly lower um, with something a little bit smaller on your head. So good stuff, good technology, all developed and put into this helmet. One of the kind of key features that we wanted to put on a helmet, it's, I think it's the only one that I know of, um, we do a lot of off-road stuff, there's a lot of enduro going on and we wanted to, to give people an option to run their hydration system in through the helmet as opposed to just having it hang there or whatnot. We've got many hydration systems with a quick release that you can leave on the helmet and if you look right here on the side you can actually put this hose in and it integrates straight into the helmet. 
Um, kind of a cool feature, especially uh, we call it a hands-free feature, so you don't even have to take your hands off and you, when, you get to, when you get to drink water and it's all integrated in there. So guys, thanks for hanging out with me uh, here at Interbike 2014. Please check out our helmet. Look on the website um, at liat.com and look for this thing to be in stores here in the U.S. Uh, early uh, first quarter next year.